Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about sexualities because everyone's not the same and I figure I'd explain it for those who aren't sure but before we talk about it I got me a book so I can write down all your questions about topics any questions that you have for me um anything that you may want me to talk about I got a book for it so I can be prepared for you guys and I won't forget now there are many different type of sexualities but I'm going to try to explain the ones that I know about so the first one is straight obviously we know what straight is boy likes girl girl likes boy pretty simple it's also somewhat common so the next one is going to be lesbians obviously girls that like girls in my oh my is it such a beautiful thing um there are different levels of lesbianism i'm pretty sure i just made that word up but that's okay there are the femmes who are real girly there are the studs who are more macho manly a little bit you know then there are the stems who bounce between the two you know whatever they're feeling and then there are the no labels. They know they like girls. They don't really have a title for what they want. It's cool. Then there are the gays. Uh, the guys who like guys. And you know they're cool too. Then there are the bisexuals. Me. Yes. Hey. Go us. Go us. My bad. So we like boys and we like girls for different reasons obviously but anyways the next one is transgender now the best way that i know how to explain it it may not be accurate but the best way i know how to explain it is a uh, transgender is somebody that is born a male but they feel like a woman or they were born a woman but they feel like a, a man and um and i really hope i'm not trying to offend them at all whatsoever but um i guess the best way to explain it is um they came out into the world with whatever gender they were assigned as far as their uh physical outer being whatever you want to call it but mentally emotionally all that good stuff they feel like the opposite gender of what they were assigned. So what some of them typically seem to do is they go and they get on hormone pills or they go and get surgery. They go, blah, they go and get surgery so that they can feel more comfortable in their skin. So hopefully I explained that correctly in the best way that I could without offending you guys because i love you guys you guys are awesome and brave let me say that so um i started noticing the word cisco around i hope i'm saying it right um but it's for non-transgender people who um they they identify with the the gender they were born with so if you were born a man you identify with being a man you know you're a man whatever you were born a woman same thing so the next one is queer and it's more so of a general identification like it's not really a major thing it's just like a um a no label if that makes sense it's like saying that i'm queer i'm not gonna say i'm bisexual i'm not gonna say i'm gay you know it's i'm queer um they also use this to describe questioning for those that are not sure but they you know want to explore their sexuality to figure out where they are um the next one is asexual and the only way i know to describe them is they are not sexually attracted to people um demisexual is kind of like asexual but in order for them to be sexually attracted to you, they would have to have some kind of bond with you. And once they have that bond, then, you know, they can, you know, be sexually attracted to you and all that stuff. So, um, the next one is pansexual. 
and people tend to switch pansexual with bisexual um i wouldn't say it's necessarily wrong uh but the way i've learned pansexual to be is they don't really see gender they like the person for who they are they like the person for who that person is they don't care about the gender they don't care if you were transgender they don't care if you were born a man they don't care if you were born a woman. they like you for you so that's how i know how to describe them there are some more that i probably didn't mention but these are the only ones that came to mind so now we're going to talk about the mixed conceptions that get brought to people's attention um there are people out here that believe that they don't know any gay people and you really do you just they probably just didn't come out to you because they're worried about how you may react or whatever the case may be so yeah um another misconception that i've heard is that being gay is a choice um for some people it may be but for others i mean we grew up that way um I don't want to say I was born gay, but I, I probably was born gay. I feel I was born gay. I liked girls from jump. And so I don't feel like it's a choice. So. Another one is that studs want to be men. And this is the stupidest misconception ever. So. I feel like studs aren't trying to be men. They just like to wear men clothes. And it ain't shit wrong with that. You go, if you about them baggy jeans and them big t-shirts, and I'm here for it, okay? Fuck what everybody else got to say. I don't think you're trying to be men. So. Um, another misconception is that gay people can't raise kids properly. And that is a very, very, very dumb misconception. And the reason why I say that is because I've seen some very successful kids that were raised by gay parents. And I feel like a uh, parent's sexual orientation don't have shit to do with how they raise their kids. You raise your kids properly, you raise them with the right morals and all that good stuff, your kids are going to be fine. And I don't think it's, you know, learned behavior like gay, ki gay parents raise gay kids and stuff like that. No, I don't think, I don't believe that either. So, that one's dumb. Another misconception that I heard is that bisexual people need both genders and that's not true and i'm gonna speak for myself not for the other bisexual people but i'm gonna just say that i personally i like both genders okay i like men and i like women and i like them for different reasons they both have something to offer men are strong you know tall sexy you know being real macho, they're funny, and then there are women who are soft and beautiful, and they can be compassionate, and they fine as fuck, like, I mean, they both give different things um, for their genders, they offer different things, and for me, it sucks that I have to pick one. Like, oh, I have to pick one from this guy. Or, oh, I have to pick one for this woman. And I don't want to pick. I like what I like for men. And I like what I like for women. And I don't feel like I should have to pick. Just because um, I need to choose a side. I think it's dumb. I like both. And people are just going to have to deal with it. I'm not going to pick which gender I like more. Another misconception is that bisexual women cannot commit to other women they feel like bisexual women will somehow find a way to get dick from men and i think it's stupid first of all the whole point of being bisexual means that we can date either men or women and people seem to confuse that with being poly which is why i tell people i am poly bisexual so they understand yeah i want both but a truly bisexual woman she can have a solo relationship with the women or she could have a solo relationship with the men. She's not trying to have both genders at the same time. There are some loyal bisexual women out there. All they're saying is that they like to date men and they like to date women. They don't have to date them both at the same time. So, 